In the week ahead, we'll get a look at crop conditions in the state of Nebraska. We're headed right to central Nebraska. We may have a chance to see some of you folks in that part of the world. It's what they call the Red Power Roundup that will be taking place at Fawner Park in Grand Island, Nebraska. And we'll run into this gentleman there, I'm sure. Author and photographer of the farm equipment industry history, Lee Clauncher, joining us this weekend. You're going to be there, right? Absolutely, Max. I'm sort of en route, actually. So, yes, I'm headed that way. Looking forward to it because we'll get to be on the program together. We might tell folks a little bit about that on both Thursday and Friday at Grand Island. We'll be uh, appearing together, but the real stars will be uh, that iron around us. Absolutely. And uh, it's going to be great. Max and I will be in the Heartland Center. We've got uh, some time to talk. and We've got uh, we're set up, so we're going to be projected on the big screen, which can be a lot of fun. Um, but as Max points out, the star of Red Power is always the tractors. So what we're going to do is uh, on uh, each day, talk through some of the machines on the floor, talk about the history of those machines. We'll get a few stories about the machines and then talk about how that machine fit into IH history. So over the course of two days, people are kind of walk through the whole history of Farmall through the eyes of these really interesting, fantastic machines that Howard's gathered for the show. You're saying machines. Is it more than tractors? Uh, it is. There's a couple of things that are real interesting. One is a motor cultivator. I think very few people have seen one. I actually have not had my hands on one. Can't wait to see that. That's a really important piece of equipment in the farm all history. And uh, Howard is actually personally uh, delivering that as we speak. He went and picked it up today, I believe. Howard is one so of the collectors? The, uh, he's one of the collectors? Howard. Howard is the director of Red Power magazine. He's the head of the club. So um, he he's organizing a lot of these things and went and picked up the motor cultivator. For someone who's never been to a Red Power Roundup, what is it? What all do you see there? You know, it's a. I think it's really like a big family reunion to be in some ways. But really, the star of the show is tractors, and they gather a lot of really interesting tractors in history. And you can walk around and see them and experience them. But there's a lot of people that have um, booths and things where you can visit. You can stop and get food. There'll be music. There'll be entertaining presentations. So it's just a great event uh, for anyone who wants to kind of relive those tractor moments in their life. But if, uh, if I'm not mistaken, and, and if it hasn't changed from the past, there's much more than tractors there. You'll often see International Harvester combines, trucks, refrigerators, firearms, right? Yes, you are right. It is everything IH, not just tractors. That is 100%. And this year, uh, particularly the refrigerators, they'll have a nice display. Um, and you bet things like the rifles, which almost nobody knows about or not that many people do. It's there'll be somebody there with a display where you can learn a ton. It's a reminder of how big and expansive and diverse that company was. I'll be telling I'll be speaking on uh, Friday night to the Red Power Roundup. I'll have a story about an international harvester air conditioner. They did make those. Well, interesting. <laughs> interesting. I'm looking forward to that. It was very, very much a part of uh, my early career, as a matter of fact. I'll tell that story. Lee Clauncher, we look forward to seeing you in Grand Island, sir. It'll be a treat. I'm looking forward to it, Max. Thanks so much for having me on this morning. Thank you. Uh, it's Red Power Roundup, Grand Island, Nebraska, Fawner Park. And yes, uh, Lee Clauncher will be there with us. And uh, I know many of his fans, Mike, look forward to meeting him personally and, and finding out a little more about his new book that's coming out. There's going to be a line of tractors headed to Grand Island. A lot of that red paint on the interstate this weekend, Max. A lot of red. I will have a story to tell, though, when I speak out there about the John Deere 4020, but oh. I've got to save that. Okay. <laughs> You've got to be in attendance to hear yeah. the story, I suppose. I know, I know folks will be asking about Mike, asking about Orion, so I'll tell them. I'll update them Thank on you. you and what you're up to. We hope you'll join us next weekend here for This Week in Agribusiness. Have a great week. Be safe. So long, everyone. This Week in Agribusiness is brought to you by Case IH.
This Week in Agribusiness is produced by Omax Communication in association with 22 Creative Group. We invite you to visit us online at agbizweek.com.